I'm still looking at this. What am I gonna what, what am I gonna look at next? Let's talk about let's talk about this drain uh, connection and the air gap and stuff for a minute. That's next. The only thing it comes with um, stock is this drain line. This is the drain line for the dishwasher. Okay? And the funny thing is there's an end on it and see this one is seven eighths of an inch but then you could cut that off right there and you could use this as the end if you had a uh, dishwasher uh, air gap on the countertop. If you had an air, ga air gap on the countertop then you would cut. You would cut the end of that off so that the smaller connection is on there. We, de we decided not to put the air gap on top of the counter and they said um, that when we install this I can, I can hook this directly up to the garbage the garbage disposal. Okay? We've got a garbage disposal in here on this left hand side brand new garbage disposal and the fitting for that is right there where I'm going to install that drain line to that and we'll talk about that we'll talk about all this kind of stuff okay you will remember I said we're not using an air gap and the reason why I happen to have this air gap is because the last dishwasher we took out and the, and, the, and the old countertop that I tore out of there had had that air gap on there and if you didn't see the episodes where I took out all of the existing counters in here you should watch that I had to bag this 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 area off I had to take the tiles out there was a mortar bed on it there was plywood down underneath it man it was just taking me forever on that but but when I when I got ready to take things apart, I saved things so that I could show you what's going on here. See, here's the, here's the air gap. This air gap normally gets installed on the counter. And see, see, this is a small fitting, a small pipe, and here's a bigger pipe. Well, if you were hooking this up to a garbage disposal, let's say, or let's just talk about the drain for the, dish, for the dishwasher, the dishwasher drain, this, this end is too big because the dishwasher drain is going to hook up to the small pipe on the air gap, okay? And so see, that's, that's too small. So you would cut that first part off, then you would use that with a smaller hose clamp. You could probably use a big hose clamp like that, but sometimes it's easier to get a little bit smaller one because as you tighten a hose clamp up, this, this end has a tendency to want to wrap around too. You could cut that off if it's really super long and if it's getting in your way you could cut it off with some tin snips or something like that. Okay? And, and you, would, you would attach the, the, the um, garbage disposal right on, or the dishwasher right up to the, to the air gap right there and then you would take a bigger piece of pipe. This is usually really thick pipe. Look at this. This is the old one that I took off of the old um, of this air gap and the old uh, garbage disposal and see then then you would take this and hook it up to your air gap like that with your clamp and then this part would go down to your garbage disposal okay but in this case we talked we talked to the installers you know the countertop installers and they said hey do you want to do you want us to drill a hole in your countertop for an air gap? And I says, well, do we really need to have an air gap on the countertop? And he says, no. He said, nowadays, you can take this as when you hook it up. Um, this, is, this is just set on here, mind you, okay? Let's just make believe this, this goes up in the, that goes through the counter over there, through the, through the cabinet right there, and then you could take this and you can loop it like that up high. Let's let's see. Uh, I'm trying to do this by holding the uh, uh, the video camera. This would this would go up and it would come up. You have to have this pipe up higher than your outlet where your garbage disposal is. Then you would wrap it like that, okay? And then you would hook this to your garbage disposal. 
as long as you have this pipe up higher than where your connection is, you're fine. And they tell you to make a loop like that, and then that gives you a natural, kind of like an air gap. So when the water is draining from your garbage disposal, or from your dishwasher, into your garbage disposal, you're going to get a little air in here, and it's going to help it drain without, without going gloop, 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 gloop. You don't want anything like that. That's why when you install this air gap, that's, why, that's what the air gap is for on your counter. It, it has air on it that releases, so when your, garbage, when your dishwasher goes up here, the water just goes up, and then it goes down that way. And then it creates that little air so that it doesn't gluck, 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 like that. Well, this, this will do the same thing, okay? So that's, that's why we decided to go without the air gap. And I said, if this was a brand new install in a brand new place, do you think the inspector would okay that? And, he, and they were pretty sure they would. I even talked, now this, granted, this was the countertop guys that were telling me this, but they, they install countertops every day, okay? And, um, but, and then I talked to a professional uh, plumber who was helping us earlier to install a, uh, a tankless water heater here. I called him back up. I asked him about the air gap too. He said, yes, just, just do the loop up above in the cabinet. So we'll loop that, I'll loop that, and I'll put some tape around the loop or tie it with some, some wire or something and, and reach up in there and make sure I get it up higher than the garbage disposal, okay? That's how that's how that's gonna work. Right there. So I'm not gonna have to, I'm not gonna cut this off at all. Right? When I install this, I'm gonna push that right on the garbage disposal. And here's one important part to realize if you're installing a brand new garbage disposal, uh, where this pipe extension is that comes out here, there's a cap. There's a cap inside of there. And you don't knock that out if you don't have a dishwasher. If you don't have a dishwasher, you don't knock that out. If you do have a dishwasher, you knock it out. Well, I decided to leave it. Uh, I didn't knock it out yet because we've been sitting here waiting for the, waiting for the countertops to get in here, wait, uh, or waiting for all of the appliances. The appliances took us a lot longer so we could still use the garbage disposal and not have a leak or anything like that. I left that cap in there. So I have to remember, when I install this, I have to get in there with a screwdriver and a hammer and tap that cap out. If you don't tap the cap out, <laughs> then when you run the dishwasher for the first time, when it starts draining, you're gonna have water going all over the place because that cap is not, has not been removed. And that's happened twice, once to me and once to another guy that I was working with years ago when I first started commercial uh, residential construction years ago, 30, 30 some odd years ago. And then we had it all hooked up. We we're all so proud of ourselves and stuff. We left and then the client, the customer called us a couple days later. Hey, we've got a leak all over the place. And we're like, leak? What's going on? We didn't have a leak before. We came out there and we, and we finally figured out what it was. And hey, we didn't, we didn't read the directions. If you read the, the directions on all of your install, when it comes to the garbage disposal, it'll tell you to knock that thing out, okay? And so you just, this is, this is the direction, uh, installation manual, and then it also comes with a user's manual. And when I get all done with this, I'm gonna put all this stuff back in the plastic bag along with the energy guide and all that kind of good stuff. And then we've got a drawer where we throw all that kind of stuff, okay? Save all that stuff when you get done. Rather be safe than sorry. And see all this cardboard stuff I have on the, on the ground? I left that down from when I took the old countertops out and before we installed this stuff. I cut this back to then push the uh, uh, refrigerator in there. And before I install the, the dishwasher, I'll, I'll uh, pull this back and cut this out. But I'll leave this on here because I'm trying to protect the floor here. We took the old refrigerator out. I slid it over here. And this just kind of protects the floor and stuff. And, and because what I have to do next, I'm, I've got to take this uh, dishwasher and kind, of, and kind of flop it down so I can kind of see what's going on to see where the, the water connection is, the electrical connection, 
and all that kind of stuff. And uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take this and kind of lean it over like that, and um, and I'm gonna check, I'm gonna check things out. I'm also, I'm also gonna check out the wheels. The wheels used to be metal. Now, nowadays they're just plastic. Good grief. <laughs> 